Hi, I'm Reynolds Zoe. Not many maintenance jobs to do, but sometimes you do need to actually change the headlight bulbs. So the headlights on this version is a H7. So here's a H7 bulb. So I'll just get in here and show you how to change them. So pop the hood there, pull that lever. So just along there, you've got the levers pulled to the left and lift up your engine bonnet. So on the headlight, you've got a rubber cap. So just pull this rubber cap away. I don't know, let's see if we can get this in closer. So in there, you've got the bulb itself. So you want to, so you want to get your hand in. You want to twist which way is it? So you're twisting it, looking at the back of it, it's anti-clockwise. And that pulls the ball carrier with the bulb out. So now you've got the ball, just wiggle it out and you've got the prongs. So it's a H7 ball, easily available. So when you're putting in a new ball, do not touch the glass with your hands. The grease on your hands will actually set the, um, will heat up on the glass and it'll actually blow the ball. So where this prong is, looking for that prong on the light itself. So you just line it up as it is there. I don't know if you can see, so the prong's next to it and you just push it in fully. So these two tabs need to, are your locating tabs. So when you push it in, you want to twist it clockwise to um, lock it in place. Actually, I'll show you where it's going to lock into. So you can see that, that's where it's going to be locking into. So obviously, place it in. Probably with the taps, with the tabs somewhere around about, um, so probably with these tabs at about two o'clock and eight o'clock. So you just want to put it in, make sure you keep it flat. You should feel it going nice and then just twist it clockwise for lock and then obviously get the rubber cap again obviously you're going to just make sure it's out so this is like a dust cap and that's how that side's done now i'm just showing you it's the same with this side obviously you've got the water um filler for your washers so it's just here the same for the cap so so obviously while you're into the engine, just check your um, brake fluid and your uh, radiator water is at the right level. So these are many maintenance jobs to do on this one. I've also got another video that I've posted here showing you how to change the cabin filter. And uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in another video. Cheers, bye.